Hey guys, welcome back to another opening uh, here in the Pokey Shed. Today we have another booster box of Brilliant Stars. Um, basically we're opening until we get one of the two Zards. Uh, I've hit the regular V and the regular V Star, but we haven't hit the Alt Art or the Rainbow. So we're going to open some Brilliant Stars until we hit it. I think as of this opening... On camera and off camera, I'm 168 packs in. Still no Charizard. So uh, we're gonna just keep cracking packs until we get one. Now we did, the best hit we've hit so far has been the RCS V Alt Art. That was in our last boost box. That was a really good hit. Uh, at the time, the card was selling for about $100 Canadian. I'm not quite sure what it's dropped to right yet. Haven't checked prices in the last couple days. But we're going to keep opening in hopes of getting a Charizard. All right. So we'll card trick it for the first, I don't know, third of the box maybe. And then we'll crack it a bit faster. Farfetch'd, Execute, Grimer, Clefairy, Badoof, Energy, Chinchino, Cleansing Glove, Float Soul, we got a Fracture, and a Luxury. So nothing in that first pack. Another part of me is cracking a lot of booster boxes because I kind of want to see if there's any God boxes like there were with Fusion Strike. I'm going to go down on a limb and say there's not going to be. That was a uh, probably an anomaly, but uh, you never know. There are four fish. Golet, Chimchow, Energy, Float Soul, Staravia, Hunting Gloves. We got a Provo Pass. And there's our first V. We got a regular Agron V. Nothing crazy. Maybe a couple dollars for that guy. So we paid 150 Canadian for this booster box. So pretty good prices. It's some of the cheapest I can get them at. So don't think we'll get our money back unless we hit a Zard or one of the bigger cards like that RCS Alt Art. Uh, but I usually don't open a lot of set cards. I'll probably open one booster box and then some collection boxes, but this is such a fun set that I figured I don't think the full art is in this, is it? I don't believe so. Torkoal and Empoleon. Yeah, so I just figured I'd it's a fun set. You got lots of, it's a, it's a set where you get lots of hits. Like you're getting about a third of the boxes is a hit. Now, sometimes those hits could be a dollar or two, but it's still a fun set to open. All right, we got Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Carablast, Clough Fairy, Energy, Blunder Policy, Executor, Choice Belt, Carablast, and Haxorus. So I think the average from what I saw is about six hits in the main set and then three to four in the subset. And then one of those three to four is typically a V, V Max, or a full art. And then the main set, you typically, not all the time, but typically you get a full art, a secret rare, and then four V or V Maxes. Chimcha, Mincino, Boltoy. Now, again, there are always outliers. I like got last box I opened was very, I think we had 13 hits all together. Gibble, Cling Clang. Like I said, I think you can. Like, I think I've seen one online where someone only got eight total out of the two. So, you definitely can get. Sh oh, I was like, what is that? That's those V stars. You definitely can get uh, screwed on some of these boxes, but you can also hit pretty big on some of these boxes too. So this is a V-Star Marker, Fracture, Tropius, Roseanne, Golurk, and Motham. So, so far we've been pretty shoddy with the for that egg round. And that's not even, if you want to get a regular V, you want it to be either the Charizard or the Charizard or the Arceus. They're the two, I think they're both selling for about $8 Canadian. Might have dropped a bit more since I last looked. 
Uh, Charizard and Arceus regular V-Stars are still up there too. They're both, I think, $20 plus dollars Canadian. So, again, I haven't looked at prices in the last little while. So, of course, they could have dropped. It's only a week or two out since the set was officially released. And obviously, people had a lot of it beforehand with pre-release boxes and some spots releasing early. That's going to be a shame if that's a big hit. Look at that off-center hit there. We will see. Thor, Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, Energy, Pinpolup, Inferno, Bear Trick, Mr. Raptor. Ah, not bad. Like, it's Charizard V-Star. It's our second one we pulled. It is slightly off-center. And by slightly, I mean it's totally off-center. Um, not enough to see the alignment dot, though, which is a shame. If you can see the alignment dot, typically some people pay a little bit more for it. But, nonetheless, it is a Charizard V-Hit. V star hit. Hopefully the secret rares aren't like this. Um, but that's a good V star hit. Like I said, I don't know if we'll get $20 for that one because of the centering. But um, definitely, uh, definitely still a good card to hit, especially for the regular V stars. Because there are some, I think Whimsy Scott is another one that's, it's, that one's very low. Uh, Arceus is high. I don't know the other V stars. Is there? Is there only three? Oh, we got all Kremi. So this is the most common trainer Garly card to pull, in my opinion. This is my sixth all Kremi, uh, and I haven't even gotten all the other ones yet. I don't think I've pulled a Vaporeon yet. So tell me they don't load it up with all Kremi, which is about I'd say going for about two dollars right now as well. Again, trainer gallery card, not the one you want one of the uh, EVs for the non V ones. Alright, Purple Up, Turtwig, Mancino, Carablast, Weasel, Energy, Magma Basin, Crawdont, Collapse Stadium, Magma Basin, Garchomp. Getting lots of hollows, but it looks it. Alright, a couple more slow rolls, and I'm going to start speeding it up a bit. When they fall apart, there we go. Two, three, four, and two. Yeah, so like anything, I think this set's gonna come down. A lot of the cards are gonna come below ten dollars, especially in that trainer gallery. Uh, you'll have, I'd say, the Umbreon and Sylveon stay up, but even now, I think the Umbreon's dropped to like sixty dollars Canadian, which is crazy. I think it's a, it's a nicer looking card than the Alt Art, but. I guess it's more common in the trainer gallery, maybe. I don't know. Oh man, so another one off centered. This is rough. Gibble, Trap Inch, Execute, Starly, Shroomish, Energy. So I'm wondering if it's just a regular V Star V Max. If it's a secret rare. Could be in trouble. Hit on top. Haxorus. Okay, it's full art. It's aluminum V, so we do need a full art for a full art burner. It is off center though. No print dot. So not quite. I had a ride shoe that was. You could see the alignment dot, but man, these guys are. <laughs> that is rough. But it's only going in my full art binder, so it doesn't need to be perfectly centered but if the full art and the v star are off center like that hopefully the secret rare if we get a secret rare which we should uh isn't that bad one two three four and two all right we got sneasel clink spirit tomb action you impotent the v star marker Crowdant, Ultra Ball, Fibrava, 
Turtwig, and we got a Grand Bull V. So two Vs, a V star, a full art, and one trainer gallery so far. So five hits, and we're not even halfway through. So looking like we're on pace for that 12 hit box. Four and two. Shinx, Badoof, Electabuzz, Halucha, Weasel, Energy, Cynthia, Sheeran, Pachirisu. Oh, there we go. We got a Jolteon. So that's a nice, nice hit there. And Electivire. It's a nice Jolteon hit. So let's put the trainer gallery to this side. Keep the V's there. So I have hit one Jolteon so far, I think. So that's my second Jolteon. I haven't decided if I'm going to try for the Trainer Gallery or not. I'm after selling a lot of the cards in the Trainer Gallery. Um, but I'm getting so many repeats. I might just hang out in one of each. Especially the regular Navis. Four and two. I think this might be the last slow roll, guys. And then we'll start burning through. We're at 11 minutes. I don't want to make this too long. Luxio, Hip on top, Magma Basin, Budoof, and Flygon. Yeah, let's start speeding through these a little bit. Go it away. So we got Team Yelch here and a Lucario. Some packs open great, and the other ones just get stuck all the time. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a Wormadin and Excalibur. Last pack for the right side. So we got about six hits, so that's our average. But I still think we have a Secret Rare in the main set, as well as a V, V Max, or Full Art in the Trainer Gallery left. Hip up and Manaphy. Manaphy's actually good. Uh, very playable card. So we'll keep pull that guy out. All right, let's start burning through a little bit more. So Hound him. Haven't pulled Hound him yet. So Hound him's a nice pull. Worm him is the rare. Haven't pulled the Hound him yet. Got a good barrel and milk curry. The barrel is not bad either, but I don't think it's worth pulling out. It is, a, I think, one of the top hollows for playability wise. But I don't think it's worth pulling out. I think Manaphy is the only thing we're going to pull it right now. Those double turbo energies are good as well. Cleansing Gloves and Breloom. What we got here? We got Sneasel and Ice Q. So I'm not as excited, not ready yet anyway for that Astral, I mean, Radio, Astral Radio set, I think it's called. It's a new one. This coming out. Um, haven't seen anything from the Japanese sets that's going to make me want to chase it. I mean, if it got that full art friends card in it, might be worth a, worth a chase. But I mean, if that's in a set card, again, that card's probably going to drop below $100. So we'll see. I'm doing this because like I said, this is a fun set. It's got a Charizard. <laughs> another V star, another off centered V star. Look at this one. Man, oh man. Shaman was the other V star. I think there's only four V stars, and Shaman was the other one. This is brutal, the centering on these hits. Hopefully, the main hit, if we get a main hit, because we got two V stars on a full art now, so we might not get one. And hopefully, the main hit is better than that. 
And last time we had two alt arts and a rainbow, so you think you get one of it, right? You think you get a rainbow or an alt art, but my box before that. I'm not getting the first booster. I don't think I had a rainbow or an alt art in the first booster box. Can't quite recall off the top of my head. It's Tornadus and Trap Inch. Ooh, what we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten packs left. Got a Dene and a Lapras, so not much there. All right, I gotta try to speed this up a bit. Sorry about that, guys. The uh, camera died on me, so. Continue on, like I said, uh, we've only hit the one, two, the Houndoom and the Shaman in this uh, second half so far, so hopefully there's some bigger hits coming. So we got a Draco Fish, so nothing crazy. Oh, we got a Manaphy though, so the Manaphy is good. And double turbo energies are good too, might look at that on the night after. Alright, so we got nine packs remaining. That one's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs remaining. So no trainer gallery V or four and no secret rare from the main set. This box better turn around. There's our secret rare. Oh, we got the RCS gold card. Third or fourth best card in the set. Charizards and I think the altar it might be. But that's a great pull there. Let's see this. How bad is the centering? It is slightly off left to right. Back is pretty good. Maybe a little low. Let's get a sleeve for this guy. So I've pulled all the RCSs now. I pulled the Alt Art V. I pulled the V Star Gold. And here's the rainbow one back here, actually. So a nice pull there. Let's, uh,. Get that in the card saver. All right, so no Charizard, but we've got the V-Star Gold. All right, so I think all we should have left now is a, a Trainer Gallery, maybe another V and a Trainer Gallery hit. No guarantees, of course, but that's what we're looking at. Impidimp and Mewtwo. Alright, so last time I hit my trainer gallery hitting me like I think the last pack or the second last pack of the box. So. See what we're doing, see how we do here. Alright. Edge it out. We got A. There's our V single strike issue foo V. I wish it wasn't this one. I wish it was the rapid strike. I, I've already hit the single strike, so if I'm gonna complete the set, this is not one that I, I'm gonna need. Uh, we'll sleeve it up though. Alright, so that might be it for like crazy hits out of this box. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got eleven. So might, like I said, it could be a regular V left. There's four left. Not rolling out another trainer gallery hit either. I've seen two big ones come out of a box. But I uh, I won't be it's surprised if nothing else comes out of here, I should say. So Muck and Starmie, another V-Star marker. All right, three packs left. And we hit anything out of here. Boltoid and Clefable. I'm predicting one more V in these last couple of packs, because we've only gotten three Vs. So I'm thinking one more V will finish out this. Oh, we got something. Execute and a Shaman. Couldn't have been a Charizard. All right. 
So the last pack, we'll slow roll it. Maybe there's a trainer gallery hitting here. Maybe not. We will see. Four and two. Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Corfish, Golet, Energy, Tropius, Claydol, Starmy, we got a Muck, and a Dredgagon. So nothing there. So that's our 12 hitter. Like I said, typically that's what's coming out of these boxes. We have four in the trainer gallery. We have Houndoom, Urshfu V, Jolteon, and Alcremi. We had two V Stars in Shaman and Charizard, Full Art Lumium, and then we had, put those Manaphys to the back, four Vs. We had Shaman, Draco Fish, Gramble, and Agron. So, not a bad box. Um, oh, and our main hit, sorry, the Arceus V Star. So, again, I think this is the fourth best card, so I think it goes. Rainbow Charizard, Alt Art Charizard. Then I think it goes Alt Art Arceus, and then this one. They might flip flop though. I'm not 100% sure. The V Star might be worth more. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Enjoy.